Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, I almost start the stream with a big yawn, which, well, would be a bit, a bit of a bad sign. <clears throat> oh, if you want to walk on the board, you you can, you, go ahead. Hey, so, sorry, go on. You said, you said I beat you to it with a burp. <laughs> Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... some First Midrick here, at your service. Uh. <laughs> and uh, welcome back to Serial Cleaners, the fourth stream of this game. And, yeah, I, I'm a bit 50-50 on the game now. Like, it is a massive improvement from the first, but it feels... Yeah, without a... Uh, most of the levels on the first game were mostly standalone, uh, only really linked through the Echo Killer. But here, okay, it is obviously meant to be more of a character story, or character's story, which is fine on its own, but without a bit of an overarching plot except for the character stories, it does feel a little bit weaker on the plot uh, front. Yeah, but that can be somewhat excused with all the big upgrades they made to everything else, I'd say. Yeah, it seems like there is some Oaken story, but... We don't know in what way. Like, we hear mentions of a guy over and over, but we don't know if we're gonna be directly connected to them or not. Yeah, and also, that... we've got a new follower. Yeah, there's the detective that's been mentioned a few times. And yeah, Raider Ritz 2001, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy the show. Uh, speaking of which, let's start that. Uh, yeah, the junkyard again. <laughs> you got a little bit stuck on this one. There we go. Where Psycho has to, well, clean out the junk. Okay, first thing we're doing is headed this way. So we can take care of one of the most the di most difficult parts of this area. Which is to deal with the cops, or rather the snipers. Oh, up here. So knock you down, grab him, and bolt. And get shot. Oh dear. Oh, toast is so good. I love my new Toastmaster. And by toast, as a... Apparently, we, most of us Europeans call it toast and to or toasty or, or toasties, but the US, I think, it's called grilled cheese. As I only recently learned. Yeah, grilled cheese sandwich, like bread with cheese in between. Okay, knock you. Yep, and, and with other sweets you want, and made inside a. I think that you made mistake first as a waffle iron. Until you open to see, oh, it's for sandwiches. And then as we say, they usually really? slot for two bread. And sometimes they... This was my previous toasty, which I kind of disliked. But you put in two bread, uh, two sandwiches, and you split them into four triangles. Okay. The way is we typically do it is, uh, well, uh, a grilled cheese and ham sandwich. And... Okay, that way. <clears throat> and let's do this because otherwise that guy is going to catch us up. Uh, wait, oh, wait, what? Why is it? Okay, why is this thing now just constantly shaking? Uh, the moment I finish that line, it stops. Okay, damn it. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to cut that body off and just grab the limbs because otherwise we're going to get shot instantly if we stand up. Yeah. Uh, uh, but also, yeah what was I in? Oh, you saw me with green cheese and ham. Yeah, we yeah, we typically 
do what we call a toasty or toasty is grilled cheese and ham and typically it's cut diagonally and uh, di diagonally into two halves and there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's what how my mind was uh, before. It basically made it easy to cut it. So it's uh, basically cooked the bread in that way, so it became uh, diagonal triangles. Yeah. It was horrible, but it made it easy for these changes to you get pushed out into the machine, and in general, just a horrible mess to clean up. Okay. So with mine, but it does not do that. The bread, the, the, all this good stuff stays in the middle, evenly and nice, without spreading everywhere. Okay, we can throw the suitcase into the crusher. We can bring it over to the car. <clears throat> yeah, we typically serve it with uh, a bit of curry sauce as well. It, it's not a requirement though, but it is an often used thing. What? You, you, you should make it fancy. <laughs> okay, it, it's often, it, well, at least it was often considered a, a a nice little bar food as well. That I did not know. That's it. Okay, you are just walking in place. Now, we have dealt with the most difficult body, but there is still evidence over there that we'll need to deal with. So we'll need to find a way to get to deal with the other sniper. For now, let's just carve this one up. Get rid of the parts. And let's not throw it. There we go. Oh, I just Another problem with those uh, toasters, like my older one was, due to the little Susan it gets the diagonal pattern. It also meant, depending on where you look at sometimes, it's never you. It actually made it harder to get the bread out. Okay. It's also meant at times, the bread will get torn. Which means more cheese and ketchup, the else you put down poured into the machine. Yeah, hmm. I think you can see that the, the problem in uh, that design. Yeah, as in the cheese is going to leak everywhere. Yeah, so rather have it like mine, where it doesn't have the diagonal cut, you just have a wool piece of toast, uh, uh, grilled cheese bread. Then you yourself just cut it diagonally instead. Without the unnecessary and more messy aid of my older one. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. This guy is just ready to shoot at any moment, it seems. Yeah. Maybe so in your toasty. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, a bit too. Damn it. Okay, at least we had a save point here. You know, let's just skip the bullshit and see if we can get the other dangerous bit there and just be done with it. Otherwise, we're just going to have to redo a lot of stuff over and over and over again. Yeah. Here, might as well wrap that. Move this. This is very noisy, but it doesn't do too much otherwise. If we can move underneath this. Okay, it does block off the side that way, but that's easy enough to circumvent by just going through the pipe. Like a psychotic Mario. Okay, he's too quick on the draw to <clears throat> for us to make him faint by cutting up a body, at least whilst he's already seeing us. 
I think you just gave me an idea for a game to stream here again. No. I think uh, Captain Source has played this. I'm trying to remember its name. Uh, Attack of the Plumber? Can't say I've heard of that. Basically, it's a, it's a parody. Our here is the here the plumber is the bad guy. Oh, that game you where you basically have to kill Mario. Yeah, or the parody of Mario in this case, and save the princess with a use of your uh, Goomba. Maybe I should not say Goomba wannabes, but Goomba parodies. Along with the bosses, like you, you, you are what usually are the bad guys. Yes, the rules of who is the good guy and bad guy is reverse. Okay, so they, they are not like the princess. Yeah, instead of kidnapping the princess, princess goes to them for protection from her unwanted plumber, who is a bit obsessed with her. I don't know if I can use the S word here. Yeah. Okay, like, seriously, how are we to deal with this guy? Like, the moment we climb up... Okay, I tried to body charge him there. Body slam. Hmm. Alright, I think... Is there a, maybe you should not play again, but that could probably rage induce you. Maybe. <laughs> Plus Nintendo and all that. Let's open this up for a bit. This guy just does not care at all that someone with a chainsaw is going around this place. Okay, uh... Really? Okay. Uh, police brutality, because I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a witness or something. What the? He's just stay. He's just sticking with his pistol out. Hmm. Actually, I. Hmm. I think we need to distract the guy by throwing something nearby. Then we can get up and grab the <laughs> grab the evidence. Uh, wait, we can't cut you. Okay, we can't cut this one. Grab the evidence whilst we're here, and Martin. then we can go out on a limb and try and distract this guy, or not. Like, these snipers are really freaking annoying, especially, I think part of my annoyance with the game is coming from just the positioning of that guy specifically. Yeah, like, I, I'm impressed by the game mechanics all, but some of the songs seem to be a bit more unnecessary hard compared to the older game yeah, I'm pretty sure we need something to distract him with in the first place we can't be seen by a third guy now because then they'll all go red alert Now he's just ready to shoot at any moment. Cut him in this one up so that he's looking this way. And then we go down out this way instead of the front door. Or maybe we can go out to the pipe. Let's 
Let's... Okay, we can't climb whilst holding the limb. Oh, that 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 is that now I'm reminded of what uh, the odd pronunciation was that you would do every now and then. Uh, you, oh, for for some reason you say uh, limp instead of limb a, a lot of times. Limps. Limp limps. Wait, it is uh, those two different words, but it's spelled the same. No, because one is with a, a B and one ends with a, a P. Uh, oh, right. Limp and limb. Wait, are you telling me I used to say limb instead of limp? Now you said the same word twice. <laughs> no, I said limp instead of limp. <laughs> I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure if there's anyone in the chat, they can confirm that it does. It sounds like Vakir is saying limp twice with the, the P. Limp a limp. There we had. There you had to be. A limp. Boo. Uh, okay. Go. But the, oh, he's bolting like a motherfucker. Uh, boink. And now he's out with his gun out. Okay, we need to hide a bit. And since we're here, we might as well go grab the other limb. Maybe it's more in how I pronounce it because I, the with me, I think I say the B silently or something, or it's more like limb. 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 When I try, if I say the P two suddenly, it sounds like I'm saying the Swedish word for glue. Damn it. Um. It lets me. May have figured out what the heck you're supposed to do with the sniper? Yeah, I think we need to distract them by throwing something at them. Uh, let's quickly grab this guy. Hey, you! Stop! Never! Yep, I tried to slam the door in their face. Let's just dump you quickly. Yep. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure the door opened the wrong way for that, but I, I, I'll take it. I'll I, take it. I guess you jumped scared him so hard he fainted. And then the sniper gets me again. Like, uh. yeah, like yes, on some levels we did struggle on on the first game, but not too. Frustration, like we understood where, what we did wrong. Yeah, and most of it was me being cocky, but here it's that's the sniper being a freaking quick shot most of the time, I think. Yeah. Also, fuck you. You know what? I'm just going straight up, cutting up the body, having this while we're here. And then we exit through the pipe and just chuck a limb at this guy's head. Wait, hold on. Okay, the guy pulled out a rifle because we knocked him down. Wait. Is he supposed to help us or...? Yeah, I think he's a neutral party to us at least. Yeah, but the police keep shooting him, so it makes me wonder. Oh, come on. He should have heard that. <laughs> like, there is absolutely no way for me to get that evidence without alerting him. Uh. Yeah, I feel like they made this level a little bit too hard with that one uh, one or two snipers 
going like, to move over again, and but at the meantime, I'm also going to look up how the fuck to deal with this jackass. Yeah. Oh, bloody. I, if it is, we are approaching the final levels, I get it should be getting harder, but there's a limit. So you're clean as junkyards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, load. Okay. Fuck off with your cookies. Especially your legitimate interest BS, which is just trying to get consent under a different word to trick people. Yep. I dropped my phone. Let's see. The SWAT snipers are perched throughout the junkyard, and if they spot you, it's very likely game over. A blend of stealth along with Hell's more traditional direct approach. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't care about the patrols. Okay, continue further toward the brain, which is a line of fire. A small. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take down the ladder. Saw through nearby fence. Payloads. No, that is the different one. Do what I was on the right. Both watched by snipers. You can't make them faint, so instead crawl through the tunnel on the crane. Yeah. And, uh, wait for the cop on the top floor to enter the office. What? There's no cop up there. Did that get patched out or something? Did that or does one the policeman actually patrol up there? Wait. Yeah, don't, don't one of these guys actually go inside and up there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Behind the sniper, yeah. Very tricky feat to accomplish as the sniper is too high to hit with any thrown objects. And reacts almost immediately when you climb. Okay. Ready, climb the ladder and immediately move away from the sniper, picking up the evidence as you go. Oh, okay, so the, the advice is basically freaking bolt. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, you see a guy in a trench coat run past you like that? And you don't respawn at all? So, yeah, we can't do anything at all to disable that guy. We just need to, well, go for it and hope for the best. Uh, okay, at the very least, I'm going to do those two. So that is open and going to make a save at the car. music here though true it is a bit repetitive Oop. come on loose damn it uh, I'm yeah whoever whoever decided to put the sniper that freaking close just fuck you There's no other words for that they are fucking bastards since they put a enemy that can resist being removed from uh, yeah from play like that uh, okay we're I think we're going to have to deal with at least one of these guys by shoving them in the dumpster yeah the, even the tape you read seemed to hear that uh, a, if you read between the lines to see that people don't like the snipers here Okay, dude was smart enough to run to the other side. 
Oh, other one has got his gun out. Like, the, the, there's where it's a challenge, and then there's... But it's too much based on luck. There we freaking go, and then we get gunned down by that jackass. Oh, that's probably okay. why they advise to lock him inside. Of course, we can only knock them out really with a, by throwing something at them. Uh, uh, oh yeah, doesn't throwing a limb at them permanently knock them out? Nope. Oh. I'm going to hope that the other one is away. No, he's not. Okay. Were they too far away to get... Yeah, because we've cleaned up most of this stuff already, we can't really do too much. Okay, I'm going to move this so we have an easier time getting back from the car. Grab that. And we'll have to wait for this guy to pass along. Because if we walked, if we went up there, he would have swatted us. Okay. There we go. Okay, finally. So no, we get rid of this thing. We get yeah. a safe whilst we're at it. Yeah, wait. Careful now. Mm. There we go. And, and now we can do with the last. Yeah, it's auto safe because we got rid of them. At least we have that core for auto save. For a reverse, it's uh, like in the old game where you have to restart for the entire level. Yeah. That would just be too much. That That's my only guess is to buy them in it even harder with this game a bit. There we go. Grab the evidence. Grab the corpse. Says so they're probably new that if they didn't add some sort of save feature like that. Nope. Yeah, people will be just get too pissed off with this game. Uh, sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah, I think a save feature was probably the most requested thing by fans. I will not be surprised. Oh, he's coming up because he heard this, the chainsaw. Since this one is way more advanced in mechanics, it didn't need it. However, it does feel like the police all have less mechanics. Yeah, yeah it's just sniper or yeah, normal officer. There's nobody nearby, so might as well. No, that's. That might actually be for the best sense. Let's be honest, if you add the older mechanics of the other policemen types... Oh yeah. boy! We would have been in a, quite a bit more problems. Yeah, for that we'll just push the game's difficulty over the top. I don't think about it. There were no snipers in the old game, was there? No, just the shooters. Okay, sneak behind this guy whilst he gets distracted with that. And okay, we're okay. I'm guessing that's either a glitch or an unintended effect. But that the one that we just dumped in the. Apparently counted as a comp. So either there's a 
there was a glitch which had them show up as a random or yeah they changed something but didn't fully remove the tags of that or something wait what yeah. we could dispose of them in a a cop dump spot uh that is going to sound weird but we we can't we can't put bodies in these places but for some reason that one we could okay weird so yeah, i'm guessing that was a bit, maybe a bit of an oversight Ooh. That it was, a, that it is supposed to be a, a cop uh, wants wandering around up there, but somehow got recognized, got changed into yeah, a neutral NPC. And since it was a neutral NPC inside of a crime scene, the cops turned hostile on them. Oh dear. What was that jackass is over there? Could also be they accidentally shot an undercover cop. Maybe. I think I heard that has happened. Uh, yeah, that's one of the negatives of undercover work. That you can't really identify yourself. Well, you can, but... Come the hell on. You God. need to have a good time to do that. Pardon me if any of this can be heard, but I need to dose myself up a bit with some with some sugar to stay awake because fatigue is starting to kick in now. Seriously, what is with that sniper being able to see us on the way back, but not the way over? Anyways, one last body to deal with. Before I start to body these cops as well. Uh, where is that body? Wait, yeah, where is the body? Here, what? Oh, oh, over there, what? Okay. Uh, we'll have to dodge this jackass again. Yeah, but otherwise it looks like it should be an easy one. How do we even even get up there. This is more like a body for Lati to deal with. Okay, that can only be brought down from upstairs. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty sure a psycho should be able to deal with a cop clubbing at him with a billy stick or whatever the hell the things are called again. Baton? Yeah. I think billy stick is something else. But how do we get up there then? Hmm. I can only really think of where this sniper is standing. Let's see. Also, how the hell did a body end up up there? Hmm. What the heck? Monster use something, something, something? 
Uh, is the name of the uh, yard Monster Joe's? Okay. It says the right on the sign. Yeah. Okay, how the hell do I get up the there? Rest. Every... It's like every freaking time we go up this place, that guy is coming for us already. Uh, Are we going to need to use the crane to get up there? I don't think so. Be really? Like... It only moves between this spot and that spot over there. Yep. Okay, so that can knock that guy down. It is! We need to get up on the other roof there. It's... Uh, it's okay, yeah. There, there, there's a... Okay, now I see. There's a part we can walk over from it. Knock that guy in his ass again. Knock this guy down. Okay, so this isn't just as a spot for hiding up out of sight. Okay, I, sh I should have spotted that a lot earlier. Uh, yeah, I, I thought you were using that earlier to get inside, but it is it, still a bit... Curious design. It's like you had to use that for something, and I was right. Just not in the way I thought at first. Okay, we can't just drop down from here. What we can do is cause some noise. Throw these down. I said throw these down. Really? There's invisible walls here preventing me. Can I chuck it down here or. Oh! <laughs> we can just drop shot it in here. Yep. Not that, psycho. There we go. And I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb mode again. Okay. Let me just do that through here. There we go. Now, all we need to do is clean up enough blood and get the hell out of this dump. Quite literally. This way. Alright. Is it the same? Nope. For once, he is not coming down this way the exact moment that we are. Okay, up, because there's a bit more blood here. And there we go. And if we grab some of that, we should be done here. Let's not mess with the sniper whilst we're this close to finishing. Yeah, that... I can't do snipers, so... They feel like they... Should not be that one as your own hardcore difficulty. If the evidence wasn't placed that close by, it is would have been a lot more forgiving. We lost this year. We'll have to dump cars elsewhere. It really is the end of an era. Eight ten thirty. How do you do? It's your host, Lottie. Right now, I'm having an argument. Normally, I'm the adult in the room. You know, one-eyed queen in the land of the blind. But today, unresolved tensions are being solved in two fundamentally incompatible ways. See, for some, hard conversations are an opportunity to voice their pain, to feel seen. I mean, right on, honey. Good for you. Cleanse your spirit. 
Others treat these talks like debates. They want to show wit, deductive skills, a level head. Those childish fuckers, am I right? Read the room. Someone is laying their soul bare in front of you, and you're like, nice soul, hon. Any logical trap I can use to send it back where it came from? <laughs> Fucking children. But hey, that's a life of crime for you. Eternal adolescence. So sometimes you gotta, you know, nudge your friends. And sometimes you gotta bag them and tag them. Hmm? Okay, what the hell is up with this Mitch Milton constantly paging everyone while he's in the freaking morgue? Okay, 97, New York City, Queens. A sole survivor of a sub yeah, a sole survivor of a subway station gunfight. The mysterious caller sounded way too familiar for Lottie to turn his offer away. The job sounds like a mess, but something tells her there's more to it than show it shows at first glance. Okay. What am I even doing? My art is finally starting to get noticed. Do I even need this money? Do I treat these operations as a source of inspiration? <laughs> Have I become some kind of adrenaline junkie? What? what? Okay. And someone is making progress out uh, of the business. Which is good, of course. Let's see. What the heck? Was it? That's a new one. It could be just a different model, but could be that there is something special about um, Mr. Chrome Dome over there. Let's see, keychain with a plane. Really? Chrome Dome? Let's grab this. Let's see, I don't think we can throw you out of here. So, let's see, does this lead anywhere? There's a dump spot over there. So let's quickly head on over. Wait, that's just to dump down the level. That's not a disposal point. This is a big, something big went down here. Yeah, is it? Uh, hi, bodies. Hi, bo find out what's going on. I feel like there's uh, probably more. Oop, got hurt. by random gangsters for no reason. You just wouldn't listen, no. You never listen, do you? I'm, I'm an undercover cop. Hell, I always have been. And I know what you've been up to these past years. What? I've gotten into trouble. These guys were feds. Doesn't matter. Just, just go. Run the hell away. Oh, piss off. It's not just about you. We're stuck in this together, whether you like it or not. Let's see. Oh. And I'm taking you out of here if it's the last thing I do. Okay, that's a wounded hey. VIP. Okay. And he's not dead, okay. Still, we just spoke about this. Okay, now we have a bit of an overarching plot. At least with Letitia's side, as in that her 
not really brother has been a <laughs> has been double teaming uh, uh, from the start, or at least early in, I'm presuming. And if if these people were all federal agents that were shot, then who the hell was behind that? Let's see. Escort the wounded VIP to a safe place. You can't throw them above obstacles, but you can temporarily leave them alone in order to perform certain actions. Keep in mind that the enemy who spots the VOB will be more alarmed than usual. And then she gets conked over the head with a nightstick. I've always regretted. What do you call it? Dad, you showed up there. Yeah, a nightstick. On that day in the shop, it was uh, my first month undercover, completely in over my head. So, yeah, from the very start. So has he been behind every cleanup job for Lati then? And that also explains how the police had info on the cleaners in the first place. They got it from this home. guy. In any way possible. Can we sneak by him? Yes. What's that? Okay, so this might solve. I think I'm covering you guys' asses <laughs> throughout those last few years. You have to run, find a way out. But where is it? Where is the exit? Can't find the exit. Can't find the exit. Can't find the exit. Okay. Can't find the exit. Can't find the exit. <laughs> Okay, I didn't mean save in that way. Okay, get in there. Um, you see what the one option there is? Mm -hmm. Disposal and disposal. No, the X button is. Yeah, we've seen that before. That 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 has her tag the ground with graffiti, which attracts them when they see it. All right, I probably haven't seen it due to the other times, two times we played this. It was heavily pixelated. Yeah. So I wouldn't have been able to first time see that. What the heck? It also makes sense because crime scene cleaning would be a lot less effective, well, at 20 years after the 70s with cameras and all that. So, uh, yeah, there'd be a lot less need for having to see the crime scene in person. Let's see. Well, many still would need to go to crime scene in person instead of just cameras. Yeah, for, As they... for fingerprints and such, yeah. But for other more global evidence, you could just use photos to try and analyze things. Yeah. Okay, come on, make your move. Though sometimes you do go, uh, we'll go out there to see for things present on it, but also see the for things the cameras missed. Yeah. Okay, just spin to clean. There's a lot of freaking blood all over the place here. Hmm. The big questions here, though, are first off, who took down these federal agents? And second, who even knew that they were federal agents in the first place? Are, are we dealing with corruption within the system itself here? Or oh, the criminals found out they were, they were feds. Yeah, even then, they I would just... need someone to have uh, figured it out or told them somehow. Yeah, they just decided to gather them all up to get shot. We have skateboards. Uh. Okay, just chuck that over. And there we go. Hmm. Okay. 
I am gonna... I had the feeling we were closing in on the end of the game, but apparently not so much. Or maybe we are, and this is to start tying knots together. Either way, it do, it is intriguing me, similar to how yeah. well things were starting to intrigue me with the Echo Killer. Yeah, dude, that one started early on for me. Started to uh, no, figure out. Oh, here it took a bit of a about while. Yeah. Oop. Keep running in front of that one. Uh, let's see. Big evidence there on the roof of this. How do we get up there? Finally, it does not as feel as hollow as it started to feel more like... The story is not bad, but... Earlier I heard I was missing something, like... Like, it has the pieces to be good story, just... I don't know, something holding them together was missing, but like it felt not... Very, very loose connections. Let's see, slip through here. Like, they keep talking about a dawn. And now we also have that Michael thing go, uh, guy going on. But we've been having that going on for a while now, but still. They spread, put uh, all these things, so many things were everywhere. That makes a bit unsure what is the main story. Yeah, besides just the story of the cleaners. Yeah. Okay, it's another one down. So hopefully a pass that they actually into a bigger plot or something. For this, this is connected back to what she found on the uh, Viper found on the computer. Yep. Well, these are some easy cleans. They're totally not going to check the ditch right next to the corpses <laughs> they had. Maybe there has been some smaller stuff that we've been overlooking or something. Uh, let's see, they, they, they keep talking about a dawn. That is a Michael. And we finally started to see more about the... Uh, that uh, this, this guy has been covering up for us, a double agent. Which now the mm -hmm. problem is... Who the heck shot them? And also, this was a hangman. Yeah. This well, was they got uh, Leticia's friend. And this goes down to low. Can I... Okay, here is where we get onto this. Okay. And that's another big-ass Uzi. There's nothing micro... About that. Andre, we did it. <laughs> we actually did it. Now we can. Andre? And he's gone. Story of my life. Let's just go. One last ride together. Just like 10 years ago. Oh. Okay, finally we get finally we get to investigate what the hell is going on. Let's see. Cleaner rating presidential, favorite TV series character, Kramer. Lawful neutral alignment. I'd, I'd say the neutral part is right, yeah. And then, then again, he keeps his word, so that typically is the lawful leaning as well. Weaknesses, age, some kind of Ukridus thing. Getting outshined by a brilliant protege. You're the. What is the 50 on the side? Also, also apparently, your first name is Robert instead of Bob. Okay. Uh, he'll, he'll, he'll. In the USA, B 
Bob is short for Robert. Okay. Also, yeah. his second name is C. Robert Cleaner. It's a weird thing for... I think only in USA and maybe England they do that. Otherwise, most of us just say Rob instead of Bob. Yeah. Let's see. Leticia Thomas Lati. Uh, cleaner rating Jackson Pollock. Favorite TV series character Elaine. Alignment True Neutral, which fits. Weaknesses. The one bad thing about Lati is that she's almost too good. Also full of herself. 29. Okay. Almost from herself. And then we have oh, Haldor yeah. Boone. Uh, AKA Psycho. Cleaner rating, Attitude Era Wrestler. Favorite TV you know, series character, Jerry. Why? From Tom and Jerry? No. Alignment, figured... Chaotic Evil. Hill, they all watch the series Seinfeld. Okay, I've never actually seen it myself. I seen it and I don't like it. Like, when he does stand up comedy, the Seinfeld is funny, but his show is boring as heck, and Kramer is his neighbor. <laughs> okay, that explains. And, and Jerry is, is, is mailman, and Jerry is played by no other than the guy that got eaten by that Dilophosaurus kid. Nedry. And Elaine is someone he got back and forth with in dating and is otherwise a friend. Okay. And for me, I think. It's a weird show. It's just, it's not fun. At least not to me, at least. Let's see. Weaknesses, speech, emotional intelligence, general intelligence, self-control, personal hygiene, effort, too many to count, and he has a rating of 40. Um, oh, what's dear. happening here? It's quite cool and distract them with the story. Oh, okay. Yeah, Viper is noticing that something is up. 98, New York City, Central Park. An ambush at Belverde Castle went awry, forcing mafia executioners to chase the rats through an illegal rave party. Afraid of a cop raid, the, the, the thizzed out crowd scattered in terror. Unfortunately, some of them got caught in the crossfire. Another day, another senseless crime, and another bloodstained scumbag demanding my mercenary services. Junior now? I don't discriminate against my clients. I despise them all. And I always accept their money graciously. The job is easy this time. A rave party in Central Park accidentally got mowed down by machine gunfire. It's the Mafia again. Little boys with big guns who don't know where to point them. I manage a dry laugh. Nobody will ever know, of course. That's what I'm paid the big bucks for. The rave must turn into a myth. Okay, six bodies and six evidence. <coughs> yeah, we, we, uh, well, sure, we did hear a lot about the mafia in the past game, but... This Mafia is getting a bit more aggressive and sloppy. Yeah, which is making our jobs harder. And, oh, we have the detective again. Let's see. Is this a different kind of cop or something? I guess it is. I think we are approaching the end. Just. I don't think. I think we. we like, like I said before, that I would not be surprised if this is the last stream, but. I will also, also not be surprised if we have one more stream of this. Yeah, we'll have to see. I, I do have the next game ready for if we do end up going short, but we've, we're already at one hour, so I don't think we will. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Now I got a new song stuck in my head. Oh, hello there, Psycho. 
What are you doing here? Oh, to help dump the bodies. Okay, makes sense. Oh. Did the run flow down the hill or was he dragged from that spot? Could be either, actually. Okay, this place is safe. Okay, log ahead, catch. The plus one. Why did okay. he cover his mouth with blood on that picture? I don't think it was meant to cover. More Viper likely insinuating that he eats the bodies or something. Oh dear. But yeah. yeah. As it is, the song currently stuck in my head. We probably give a small hint what the next game will be. Headless Vaults by Voltaire. You, you are just out for blood. And you are speedy as well. Okay, I was going to say too bad you can't climb ladders, but we couldn't either because it wasn't down yet. Okay, yeah, he seems to be just hostile full time. Oh, and again, he's a detective. He's supposed to be a bit more of a bigger threat. Yeah. And also, you have listened to Voltaire, right? Uh, I think I have heard them once or twice. Yeah, for, he has some dark but funny songs. Like, it's easy being evil. Oh, Voltaire, yeah. I, th I thought you said something like Volton. But yeah, Voltaire is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, and it's... I just remember what game you to stream next, and it instantly made me think the headless vaults. Oops, some burnt evidence. I will say some of this in the game would be a lot more interesting if uh, if we could find uh, know more about all the on all the all the cases we that we're cleaning up. Yeah, like in the other game, we actually got clues what happened, sort of, on before and after, but here, not to, like we do get some info. So, hmm. I'll get on sure now we are making uh, fair or unfair comparisons with the first game. Yeah, like, like we pointed out multiple times, this game makes big leaps compared to the first one. So it could just be that more of the budget went towards the, well, the mechanics and graphics. And that's the, because of that, the story has suffered somewhat, but yeah, we're also dealing with them jumping from one char main character to four main characters, so that's also going to take its toll. Yeah, so in, general, maybe... it, in general, it feels a bit thinner on the story, or uh, but that's also because there's a lot more spread out. Yeah, I think that it's the spreading out is wrong. The... So in the other game, we, we got to know things organically to a radio, a TV, a newspaper. Here we, we get the info before we start. And it's very minimal compared to the first game, where you got several sources uh, talking about something similar. True. Okay. But again, Another we one. don't hate this game. We don't hate it, just... It's just it... different than the first. Let's put it that way. Yeah. And it... The good part of the student seems to took taken quite a while to start. Okay, three more bodies after this. I think we've got most of the evidence, if not all of it. 
Yeah, you have all the evidence. You missing the only the bodies. Okay. Bodies, not bodies. This up whilst we're here. Wrap you up here. like a mummy. Nope. nope. He's over there. Nope. Oh, you are fast. Uh. <laughs> okay. So there was a case of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Or this guy, a hard cop and a hard club. Okay. Bit of a wall there. Okay, we know where one of the bodies is, but where are the other two? One underneath the the little bridge, and here's the other. Okay. You're probably guarding this one, yes. It's gotta lose. Yep. Shut up the lights everywhere. See what that is going on. Oh, damn it. Hey, you! Stop! Hey! Hey! Let's <laughs> go in circles. And <laughs> there. Oh, come on. I was not expecting that to actually work. But it is dark and it, there are some thick bushes, so it makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Viper is at a distinct weakness here, or disadvantage here, since there's no vents for her to be sus with. So they gave her... Shrubbery. Uh, wait, will that count as shrubbery? Not sure what would be the exact fit for the term. Bye bye. I guess shrubby is more tiny fences. Bye bye. Remind me, we, we should make one. sure you get to see the full multi point of the Holy Grail. <laughs> I think I've seen at least most of it. I also know that the I have seen the ending, and yes, I will fully agree that it is a cop out. Oh, damn it! Yeah, I did not like the ending. Put me hope there was a sequel. Also, uh, it's a bit of a literal joke with that, so I'm not sure if I want to speak it out loud to spoil it, perhaps for anyone who hasn't seen it. Yeah, let's <laughs> not spoil it. But. Uh, yeah, oh, they're dead, damn it. There's a lot of cops going around, so I, I think we are in the final levels with how the difficulty is being cranked up. But yeah, the, the ending of it is a bit of a cop-out, but from all I know, it's intentionally so. Yeah, frustratingly, like... It's the least funny one, though. Let's see. Okay. Quick with this. Really, you can't see the that the body is right there, just wrapped up like a like Christmas present. But at least it's distracting the dumbasses, so we can wrap this one up for them. Might as well head straight for the cave here. 
Yeah. I do gotta say that of the characters, I like Viper probably the least, but she's at least somewhat funny still in just how you know, bratty she is with everyone else. Yeah. I feel like they could tune down her arrogance and remove the wool lead speak. And she will be been way, uh, probably more uh, funny at least. But yeah. at least for me, the lead speak is is not doing it well at all. I, I like the idea of a character and all that. Just yeah, I think I said the other stream that I I I can't stand lead speak. Like I cannot. St I can handle some acronyms there there. Like be right back. But the way she used it so much. I just can't handle it. Blackout. No, actually, I just remember that. No, when she was doing some investigation in the house, she stopped doing lead. Yeah, or she, she did use some abbreviations still. Actually, yeah, but not she, as do, much. Has she used any lead speak in the uh, current bit? Hmm. I'm not sure if she has. Or I think it was mostly at the start. Uh, actually, she did not use any during the starting dialogue of this mission here. Maybe was when she stood uh, getting ready to uh, do the body, uh, get grab the bodies here. She did not use a single lead speak. Yeah, it could be that a sign of her maturing somewhat along with the others. Like yeah. Psycho has managed to find himself a girlfriend that he doesn't end up murdering. Uh, Bob is well Bob. Uh, Leticia has uh, managed to get her art career going. Yeah, I, I get you. Oh, damn it. Whilst we're here, you go investigate one of those two, will you? There we go. This is more how we're supposed to do this. Just lure them away, and then we drag them away. Oh, someone's... Hey, uh, hey Noon. <clears throat> hello, little lurker. There we go, and just run over him. Beautiful souls. Nobody will even know you existed. Not even I will be sure you did. She's a master gamer, a cyber ronin, a former rave queen, and a legendary crime scene cleaner. You know, it's a the ghost world rave. Won't know her name, just as it won't know the names of the people she made disappear. But that's okay, because the will of the universe is watching, and everything is all right with the world. All right. Yeah. Winter '98. You're really into that crime shit, huh? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> Come on. You spent the whole evening talking about being disillusioned with the facade of reality, alluding to heinous crimes we'll never know about, bragging you know because of your famous fixer friends. FYI, I got a little tipsy, and I'm a bit of a provocateur, and I was actually testing you all, and, uh... I guess broken girls love conspiracies and serial killers. Daddy never kissed me, I got into Ted Bundy. He's a dick, but... Dang, what if he's onto something? Should I GTFO while there's still time? And he's back. I didn't back. mention you have a PhD in pop psychology. When our souls and brains are molded by pop culture, pop psychology becomes the real psychology. What a shame. Your psychology seems to be that of a hella annoying video game NPC. Talk to the hand. Anyway, my brain chemistry enhancements are kicking in. Let's move. Let's mm, dance. Yeah, about time. Let me grab some water and I'll see you on the dance floor. I think I know who that is. We'll see. Is the undercover cop hill? 
And yeah, the music is good noon. I agree with you. Yeah, every little place has its own little track. And... Yeah, I'm so shit-faced. Oh, that's you. <laughs> I've, been, I've been meaning to ask, uh, how old are you? Uh, excuse me? Ugh. Are they starting to guess my real age? Were my fears right and there's really no life after 30? I was just wondering, because I never know with Japanese features. You could be 18, you could be 50. Uh-huh. It's just, yeah, I'm Korean, FYI. Oh, uh, um, I mean, it's the whole Shibuya, Harajuku, cyberpunk thingy you've got going on. Tech guys go crazy for the shizzle. It's much easier to outsmart them when they think they know what you are. Uh-huh. Also, it makes people knowing who I really am seem more special. As long as they're not old, angry vets. Uh, sorry for not being special. Um, sorry for sounding passive-aggressive. I... I'll, uh, shut up. Okay, <laughs> oddly introspective drunk. Or self-aware drunk. Ooh. Okay. Um, that was disturbingly cute. Huh? Eh, could that be... Didn't he die for the last mid-year or step? I'm pretty sure Leticia's level was set in the in 97. And this is 98. Oh, right. He's really bunch of shit. Assholes, noobs, and wannabes. I miss my old crew. Perplexed. Primor bitch, Ponzu, Shadow Atheist, Jerry, Ubernal, Mr. Weapon. Those were the names. Now they're gone. Grown up, dead, or in prison for unrelated infractions I wish I never knew about. What if the gang ends up the same way? What if the web goes to shit in a few years? What will I do? Does it really come down to Mrs. I told you so because I'm so experienced being right in the end? Bah. But then again, has the will of the universe cast its eye on me? Does it want to tell me that this dance can't last forever? Whatever. Don't think. Just breathe. Listen. Feel. Sweet. Let's do it. Ooh. Total recall something rotten? Huh? Okay. Act four or chapter four. What is going on okay. with this? Yeah, that's not how I remember it. What's going mm. on indeed? Yeah, all four of them. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Echo. The junkyards. The subway station or no train station. Andrew. Central Park. Act four, final act will be starting shortly. Okay. Uh, I miss. <laughs> okay. All it. Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Oh, who is who is the what? Okay, someone betrayed the group, or is going to betray the group? I wasn't the first, okay? I only took out mine after I saw you guys whip out yours. <sighs> Funny. Nobody's initiated aggression. But the atmosphere makes me think of Columbine. I don't even remember how this argument has started. <laughs> so, uh, dibs on shooting first? 
Don't even joke around. You said we shouldn't disturb Hal's peace of mind. FYI, his peace of mind seems plenty disturbed. Never mind the man himself. Like a mad dog, I'm ready to sniff out traitors and rip out their entrails. The traitor? That's it. I'll go out on a limb, and guess we all got paid to the same thing tonight, then? You mean, hi, Richie Mitch here. Cool party upstairs. Makes me wish I wasn't dead. I had a dead man switch. Mafia knows one of you went to the cops last month. You're fucked, TTYL. Did Mitch actually bother to send out custom messages? Or is that just a very liberal paraphrase? I'm a very liberal person. Would back Bill for a third term if I could. You know me, Bob. But do we know Bob? Oh, for Christ's sakes. You gotta be kidding me. Et tu, Brute? Brute, as in Brutus. It's the old Bill Shakespeare, Hal. Act three, scene one, Caesar says it, then he dies. Ixnay on the condescension there, Bob. Whoa, whoa, pardon me, son, but you act like I should be the prime suspect, and I don't know why. I mean, come on, retirement? All you've yapped about this year, but you were too shy to share specifics. Oh, for... I mean, we're all on equal footing here, and I ain't spearheading this one. Not this time. So, who's it gonna be? Okay, a dead man switch for custom uh, for messaging each of them. I I don't want any of them to be the traitor, so I wouldn't be surprised at all if uh, the guy sent out had those prepared as one last fuck you to the group to have them turn on each other. Hmm. Okay. It is one of them or. With the spinning wheel we saw earlier, could hint that it might not be one of them. Either way, which order shall we do it? Reverse this time okay. because Bob doesn't want to be the first. I guess Wiper? Gee, guys, you know I love me some games. So here's one for you. A detective game. Robert, a disappointment to his mom, got three innocent-ish kids into crime life, very old. Spent ages hiding the sins of our profit-oriented world. Dated a serial killer, yearns for atonement. <coughs> Haldor, once a spirit of hate, now a soldier of love. Future crown witness slash family man. Unlike his messy father figure, he might dream for his children to live in a better world. Letitia, a real artist, spent years trying to get recognized by a bunch of rich, crusty racists. Knows about the skeletons in their closets, hits them herself, wants to see the art world burn. Finally, Erin, her hobbies, illicit raves, illegal hacking, unlawful substances, glamorous crime. Question, which one of them called 911 to sell out the others? The arrogant brat who spent ages hiding the sins of our profit-oriented world? The drama queen who wants to see the corporate cyber world and crusty dot-com investors burn? A disappointment to her parents? Already feels old? Yearns for atonement? A master of projection? Last month, the office job. Start talking. The... the office? Ugh, fine. Just don't stop me if you don't understand some of the technical jargon. Okay, I was half expecting that. I was half thinking that was turning into fingering her as the traitor. But let's see. 99, New York City, Hell's Kitchen. From online shops to telecoms, every capitalist worth his salt wants to lay hands on the dot com treasure trove. Intech is about to corner the market with its secret 20 year long plan. Unless the plan leaks, that is.
How about being I shut up, Spice? Okay, first off, vent. Hmm. I, I'm fully expecting it to be yeah, someone trying to set up the bunch against each other. But there's always still a chance that we have to select our trader somehow. Let's see, we have noise there, we have light there, and something there. We have a key here behind a door that is also locked. Yeah, so far, no one, none of them will make sense to be to the betraying what we've seen so far. Well, they all have reasons to get out of the business. spot there by just chucking it out the window but the door is locked this uh, one isn't honest, honestly i wouldn't be surprised if the guy in the uh, morgue is alive yeah okay accidentally dodged the camera oh they're they're start they're just coming out with the guns huh We just give me a key. I mistook the gun I gave for a split moment as an attack drone. Gonna stay out of sight. Yep. Hey, and dead. <laughs> okay. We're dealing with some folks here. These look like. Uh, they might be of a sort. <laughs> really? M I B? Men in black. Yeah, yes. They're... Really? Yeah, they're probably working for some federal agency or something. Uh, what the heck is that? Did you notice that the text in the corner but over my head? Uh, no. It was talking about if Psychos traitor equals dead, Vipers traitor equals dead, and so on. It could be the others making comments while she's telling the tale. Right there. Okay. Okay, we're going to need to be careful here. Steal the sensitive data. Okay. Where is that sent? There it is, but it's behind the locked door. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Only access to sound distraction there. What are our other disposal spots? We have only one, it seems. Hmm. Seven bodies to deal with. I just realized. Was Cyber. Is Cyberpunk things really a thing in 98? I think they came out in the 80s or something. Oh, alright. I would photograph then. Let's see, we're going to need to get our hands on the keys. I say that and immediately we're going to get gunned down again. Okay. But you did crawl in front of him. 
Oh, we can switch cleaners and switch. Okay. No, we're not. Oh, triangle key gets. Let's see. Evidence. A pager. Okay. You are many bodies. Okay, we do have multiple drop points, but they're all down there. Okay, let's open this up so we have more movement. Not even I am joining up. Well, am I somehow in sync with you? Maybe. Nope, isn't. Okay, this isn't the. Locked place. We can uh, activate some sound lures again. You see, remember, does it? You know, you know, not that you plan to do instantly, but you ended up taking up and you're you just completely slipped past it. Yeah. I was laying in bed uh, and watching YouTube and. Uh, Felt extremely sleepy before the uh, soon time to brush my teeth. Then I looked at the clock and realized it's only eight, a uh, half eight or something. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Circle key. At that point, I only knew you were still asleep. So maybe I was somehow really in sync. Uh, or start to become more and more in sync somehow. There's the circle key, but there's also a guy heading towards it. Two guys heading towards it, actually. Uh-oh. <clears throat> okay, grab that. Wait for the camera to turn away. Open up. That secures ourselves a bit. Okay, what's this intel? Web Oli Oligo Poly? What? hit a little bit too hard yeah because some of it is real or at least people are trying to make it real at the moment okay here's <clears throat> yeah here's a and we have luckily have a lot of uh, pushback against some of them okay, get through uh, can we drag you through the fence not that we want to no we cannot do that Tisha could probably move that thing since he's stronger. Hmm. Let's see what the other end of this is. So that's a long one. Okay, camera we need to dodge. Going to wait a bit more before moving. See where this guy goes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Go. 
go. Close that behind us. Also, save. Lock that behind us for a bit of safety. Okay. Now we can start disposing of bodies, I think. Lock you. Probably going to come this way, so we hide over here. Yep. Oh, and the disposal site is blocked by one of the movable bits. Okay. So what does this lead over here? Okay, minus one screw it. And then we go swap to Lati. Move, uh, <coughs> open up the disposal sites. Hmm. Okay, it even changes with who we play. Okay. Does companies really do the whole 20 years plan ahead? Mm. They do typically tend to go for five year plans, I believe. 20 is a bit much. Yeah. This. No, again, I do something wonder if you should do like a dwarves in Warhammer, like. Maybe when uh, the dwarves probably can do this because they live so much longer than us. That they have like a century or two to develop and test a uh, technology before they actually, well, release it, so to speak. So that also means after one or two centuries of testing, but you basically have a very good product that l very unlikely to explode on you. Yeah. Okay. Like, I, I don't like we have a lot of te te techno uh, yeah. technology advancement. But it does feel like they just popping out faster and faster without really making a good quality, so to speak. Like, some tech products in the past were built to last, no, they are not, so to speak. Okay, that's a square key, but that's also at the other side there, so how would we get in there in the first place? this and we can open this up and we've got some more shortcuts okay they're getting antsy downstairs Ooh, one of them even just pulled out a gun uh, mm. it's another vent You spotted the, that the body wasn't gone from that far away? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's lock this quick. Yep. Now they're antsy upstairs, so let's head back down here. Yep. Just 
lock the elder place down. Okay, come on. It lost you. This guy to move. Yeah, not that. There we go. Okay, now we gotta slip out behind him somehow. We would make too much noise to walk behind him right now. Okay, we'll just have to hide behind here for a bit, I guess. Some backlog again. Hmm. Can I just dump you over this? No. Really? I thought they weren't meant to be able to move stuff like that. Well, it would make sense for them to be able to. Well, that's it. It's now they introduced the ones that are not lazy. Are they? Hey, yeah, come on, dude. Get get wrong. Yeah, get lost. I'll be honest to say this. I am a bit disappointed. That I go with who's the traitor trope. Yeah. For that, we'll just that, that have to see that, how like, this goes on. Yeah, for that, that that one almost came from nowhere. Unlock this again. Like we didn't have really hints of someone was to do any betraying. Yeah, I think it's supposed to come out of nowhere. That uh, your suspicion builds that something is going on with the, the paging and such. Yeah. You still expect it to be the traitor thing? This is... I guess you could say it's one of the troops I'm kinda tired of where they uh, hold guns against each other trying to figure out who's the traitor. It's one of those troops that really bored me out and almost stressed me out at times. Kitty? Kitty? What? Um, that happened? Yeah. Okay. Let's get the other body, throw them down. Ooh, yeah. The gun is alive! this and here we go and then we go down with the elevator Let's see. can we even get out there we go okay so that's the that's the use of this room Okay, looks like they got dumped down to the 
the lowest floor, so let's leave the gunmen behind and go straight here. Where we almost went to that guy. Uh, fire escape tube or something? Hmm. Is there supposed to drop bodies into, apparently? Yeah, I think they're supposed to, I think they're... I think this is for... A, yeah, just garbage disposal during construction or such. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, I think we're just going to have to annoy this guy by dumping a bunch of bodies at over here. Uh, okay, no response to the... <laughs> the they're right. wrapped up cop <laughs> corpses. It keeps being outside his prefer preferable prefer peripheral. So that that view peripheral vision or something like that. Yeah, uh, I, and he's looking pretty much at that one. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we should see if we can sneak back to get a save. Yeah, Leticia might be better at moving the bodies around, but she doesn't have as much mobi- well, she has her mobility of just jumping over places, but there's those are a lot fewer here than uh, vents are for Vi- than there are vents for Viper. go between here yes I can he is going to look the other way before he turns back around no here we go again with this at least we got away this time Save you at the moment. And then again, we did get, we should have gotten a save from uh, dumping the body. Speaking of, let's see if we can drag this one all the way around down the stairs. Shortcuts onto the. Uh, hmm. I don't even know what you would call that. Okay. See you. See you next time, noon. Sleep well, noon. May you have pleasant dreams. Let's see. Three more bodies to deal with. Well, even I'm getting a bit sleepy now. Okay, done with all of the bodies up here. Shouldn't be a body here anymore. Actually, there is over there in the locked off room. Almost alerted that guy. And there's a body over there. Probably best to get Leticia for those two, since you can immediately grab them up. Okay, a little 
safe spots. Good. Bad time. Okay. okay, I thought he was going for something else, but okay. on which don't won't do much at the moment okay, yeah, we need to move that body in between first okay. dude come on get going yeah, he's messing with our plan And there goes our window. Not entirely, but we can move them a little bit. Just hide around the corner. Turn them with mic, pick up my y'all. For a bit. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, after this, there's only the two bodies on the middle floor. Really? Okay. floor for now. So these two are being jackasses. Actually, can we... Yes, we can go out on the outer ledge here. Oh, there's another one of these. Let's grab that. And fuck it. We're dragging you, even though it adds blood. You can just as easily... Suck it up. They can't get in anyways. So yeah. <laughs> Suck on that, dumbass. Okay. And this one seems to be set between only two places. Okay. Get calm down over here. not going to be an issue. It's going to distract you with the sounds. Drag this body as far as we can without getting too close. And just turn that on. And now we have only one left to deal with, for which I think we should swap back the Lottie. Okay, skirt the edge. Elevator. I meant to go to the middle one, not the top one. Okay, might as well swap cleaners. Oh yeah, nice to know that each level has their own different little music and even different ones, uh, different music tracks for different cleaners. Yeah, that's a nice detail. Yeah, what the yeah. heck, why am I on it so much? One advantage here would have been that. Uh, damn it! One advantage here would have been for Viper. Okay, would have been that she'd be able to wrap up the body or not to 
disable the camera, likely. Okay, that works somewhat. We need to be on this side to be able to slip past the camera. Quickly lost him due to short attention span. Hmm. If we had Psycho here, we could probably have stuffed this guy somewhere. There. Let's see. Damn it. Can we stay hidden in this little corner here? Okay. That got their attention, but not their interest. Really? Screw it. No, screw us, apparently. Okay, this last one is being tricky. It was not as tricky as the stupid snipers were. Let's see. Can we find somewhere to disable that camera? No, it's just actually. Hmm. Let's see. Can we hack into? Yes, we can disable that. Let's do this. Up. And get you moving. Okay. We got closer that time. I was being reckless with that one. Hmm. Let me guess. If we save and exit now, we're going to need to restore the entire level, don't we? Yeah. Oh, for love of. So we are finishing this level. Yep. That was the reason I asked it was that I saw what the, what the clock is at the moment. Yeah, almost time to stop. Just gotta keep out of sight. Okay, this time we do a save here. Kill both the cameras, because why not? And just get you the hell out of here. We'll deal with the blood after. Oh. Okay, eventually they stop leaving a trail, which makes sense since they eventually run out of blood. <laughs> As grim as that is. There we go. Now just the cleaner part of being a cleaner. And there we go. Just in time for that to activate. Pick any. Poof. No proof. I can't deny it all sounds, uh, plausible. Doubting Thomas, each and every one of you, F-O-A-D for all I care. Strong words for someone. 
held at gunpoint. Did you wake up just now, you weirdly eloquent dunce? Look to your left. LOL. We're all on the receiving end. Name calling ain't gonna solve our little problem. Agree to disagree, pumpkin. So, how about a classic mafia game strategy? I accuse the last field accuser. Hmm. I say we end on Bob with this one. For now, let's see what Lottie has up next. Cute. Real cute. Cute as a pail full of kittens. Aaron, will you offer me solidarity in this trying moment, or will you burden me with a probable motive? Art World, you're moving up, got a clean cash flow going, we're becoming a liability, yada yada. Seriously, of all the things you found online, a spine wasn't one of them? Just helping you clear your name, sis. I know you will make an eloquent case for yourself. Bob, how about some symbolic words of support? A positive assessment of my character. Just uh, tell us about your last visit to the museum, Lot. I'll cross-reference it with my sources. Sources? Huh. Unbelievable. You are all unbelievable. It's like you never even cared to know me. But fine, okay. Let me tell you about my last passionate love affair with the art world. Okay. Harlem. A failed heist is bad news in itself. But when it affects the biggest money laundering operation in Manhattan, head honchos are willing to pay the big bucks for uh, making the headache go away. Well, Lati always wanted to engage with the art world anyways. Anyway, but... Let's see. Are you it? What would the answer change? You're in big trouble if I'm not. Spit it out. Neither of us have time for the angst. Clean up the mess, get the dough. Two bags. There's a hidden room behind the big ugly paint. Be quick about it. Wait. How do I open it? Give up your inquiries, which are completely useless. They don't tell me shit. Yeah. Thanks for nothing. Okay. Search corpses with a passcode. All right. Uh, yeah, we we are clearly at the start, uh, at the end, not the start, and things are getting very curious and uh, hostile with each other. I, I'm yeah. going to place my bet on that it is none of them, and that it is some fifth party fucking with them. Yeah, same. Just at least I hope it just a, it is a fifth party for. Uh, yeah. It just... As annoying as some of them are in some cases, we don't want them to be the one that stabbed them all in the back. Yeah, for none of them being that annoying, but like they have some annoyance, but also have some. Uh, they have their own pros and cons. Yeah. But not enough to feel like they should. One of them should be a traitor. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to guess that it's either. Yeah. A third party, or is the police uh, indirectly trying to screw with them since they can't actually catch them? Or the one in the basement is alive. True, but for that, Psycho would have to have failed pretty miserably. Okay. With that done, let's head over here and go look for someone to raid. Okay, yeah. It was supposed to be on the other this one. Was, there's one point we haven't thought about. And that is the echo killer. Hmm. Well, he did what he, they said. They said that he was dead, but there's the whole thing with not seeing the body and all that. Yeah, and the way he they they claim he died by falling into a hole. Just like yeah, sure. He was. He seemed like another not yeah, his best condition, but. Not mm. so, but he just dies so cartoonish. Hmm. And yeah, could also just be to undercut him, since he is, well, he isn't what he used to be anyways. But then again, the same could probably be said about Bob, though he's still doing pretty good. Either way, yeah. though, let's look at someone to raid. We have Zeri the Fox, who is streaming Satisfactory. 
We have Kaskozuk, who is streaming Metroid Prime Remastered. Uh, Redacted, Cla Redacted Cat is streaming Black Mesa. Big V Streams is streaming uh, Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition. Grim the Wolf is on VR chat, it seems. Smoops on the Nonsense is is playing two, yeah, seven days to die. Why did it almost say two days to die? Touch Scaly Tail is streaming Dark Tide. Halloween 4545 with Fear and Hunger. A horror based RPG, apparently, judging from the text that it pops up. Little cr and. Uh, yeah, that's about the small to medium ones, I would call, even though Halloween, Halloween, uh, Halloween is still a pretty big uh, streamer, I'd say. Any of those sound interesting, or shall we look at others? Oh, we also have okay, Reef can... the Leaf with a space for the Unbound. Hmm. Okay, for at the moment I can't see what you're looking at. I only see us. Yeah, I for, forgot to change this, or did I click the wrong thing? Oh, well, go over here. There you go. Yeah, any of that sound interesting, or shall we go visit Zeri? Uh, I guess we can visit Zeri. I am so tired. Okay. Copy paste because I do not absolutely trust my ability to remember and type, especially whilst I'm almost keeling over. So yeah, slash raid and paste. Uh, before we go, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Noon, for chilling along for a bit. And yeah, I see you there in chat, Sensei a, a Tadpole. Thank you for hanging around a bit as well. And of course, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah. Uh, Jamar, the next following days, probably just a single stream each. Uh, with Borderlands being on either the 22nd or the 23rd. But we'll see about that. First off, though, we'll likely return to Tomb Raider Anniversary for two streams. Then, yeah, likely the finale of Serial Cleaners at some point as well. Ooh. Yep. But for now, let's start up that raid. And, yeah. <clears throat> Thanks again for watching, everyone. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and may you all have pleasant dreams.